The convicted UPDF officers include 55 year old Major John Stephen Oruka and Major Zodoko Obol, 49 years. That were found guilty on one count of coward's actions. However, Major John Stephen Oluka was found guilty of two counts of offences by a person in command when in action. Contrary to Section 128.1b of the UPDF Act of 2005, according to the evidence on court record, the two majors on 25th May 2023, while in Marie forward operating base FOB, as officers commanding infantry campaigns received intelligence brief from the intelligence officer commander of an attack from Al Shabab. However, the officers failed to plan and deter the attack accordingly. Because of God's actions, a number of soldiers and equipment were lost. While we are serving our country, uh, as, uh, standing operating procedures, uh, rules of engagement, and other guidance that is put in place should be strictly observed. The commanders, of course, should be selected according to command, capabilities, and even commanders should be able to train with their soldiers so that they can build the cohesion and teamwork while in the mission area. After listening to both sides' submissions, the chairman of the military court marshal Brigadier General Freeman Robert Mugabe in sentencing that to dismiss them from the defense forces. You are sentenced to dismissal from the defense forces. You have the right of appeal within 14 days if you are not satisfied with the decision of this court. You so rule. According to the UPDF Act of 2005, under Section 120, 1 to A, and Section 128, 1b. The maximum sentence for the above offences carries a death penalty or life imprisonment. <coughs> Meanwhile, the same court has convicted and sentenced the four non-commissioned officers of offences of failure to protect war materials. A failure to protect war materials include losing arms and ammunition, illegal possession of ammunition, failure to do any act necessary to protect arms and ammunition, among others. In sentencing them, court handed or court Alex Anyata a punishment of 16 years, 7 months and 2 days in prison, Kopolo to Inemaz Hagai, 22 years, 9 months and 24 days imprisonment, Sergeant Obey Leonard, 17 years, 6 months and 19 days imprisonment. And Sergeant Kakoza William aged 55 years, a sentence of 10 months and 18 days in prison. Deborah Nama Monde, Ivan Juko, UBC News. From the time they are 